Hey there guys and welcome to my channel Gustography where I talk about Hoyas, indoor plants, outdoor plants and all things plants including cactus and fruit trees. So in this video I'm gonna do another Hoya plant. Um, I know like I said I've been talking about Hoyas all the time but I've been in the Hoya world for quite a long time so I've been taking care of Hoyas throughout this entire year and I've been growing a love for them. Today I'm talking about Hoya Han Hiai, which is this beautiful, gorgeous, shiny, glossy plant. Um, so yeah, stay tuned if you guys want to know more on how to care for this gorgeous, amazing plant that's very closely related to the Hoya Macrophylla. So before I start talking about this plant, let's get a close up on the leaves and the thickness and how glossy they are. Hoya Macrophylla or Hoya Han Hiai are very closely related. Uh, this is the Hoya Han Hiai and it is closely related to the Hoya Macrophylla in the way that the leaves are very thick and chunky and the way they, they, they grow from the vine is very similar to the Hoya Macrophylla, I don't know if you guys tell. Uh, it has a nice stem and then the leaf pops out. Very closely related to the Hoya Macrophylla and it also has veination. It's kind of hard to see the veinations here but um, it does have the veination here on the leaves. I like saying that word, veination. But yeah, the leaves are very thick and chunky, very succulent-like, like pretty much most of my Hoyas. They're very thick. You might think that they're flimsy, but no, they're actually very, very thick. It's like if you were touching a succulent, super thick, kind of like a coin. Nice and round, thick, just like the Macrophylla, veiny. And this one that I have here happens to start growing um, some splashes. I don't know if you guys could tell right there. Some little splashes. It also started growing this huge vine that I didn't have before. So let's just get closer here into the vine. See how nice, let's see this vine, it's huge. This Hoya is a, a trailer, it likes to climb up things. See the little baby tendril popping out of there? But yes, so that's my Hoya Han Hiai. This Hoya Han Hiai was discovered in Vietnam, which makes it a native plant to Vietnam, which is in fact in Southeast Asia. And something that you need to know when you're buying plants, not just Hoya, but this goes for any plant, is that you need to know the native, the location from where the plant was discovered, where the plant grows, um, where its habitat is from. So this Hoya here happens to be from Vietnam, which is Southeast Asia, and that alone tells me the climate that it likes. It likes uh, high humidity, rainy, watery, humid, mossy, foggy, that's the humidity that it likes, plus it likes heat. So it likes heat, hot humidity, rainy, foggy, that's what it claims, that's what it loves, and that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm giving this plant. I have it inside my greenhouse in my front yard, and so I got this plant from Gardino's Nursery, and just in fact it was only this much. It was only like, say it was this much, that's how much I had that's how much the Hoya was. And I've had this for like a few months, maybe like six, five months, and this is how much it's grown. Now you might think it's not a lot, but just the just know that the vine has little notes that will soon develop leaves. And then this plant will look really, really cool. And it also grew this little uh tendril right, right here, which will make the plant fuller since it will add another stem continuation here, and it will just grow this way and the plant will look amazing. So this plant, like I said, it likes humidity. I have it in my greenhouse. For soil, I actually have, I only have it in the soil that it came with from Gardino's Nursery. Um, it looks like it has a little bit of coco coir. Um, it has some pumice. It might just have a little bit of um, coco husks, pumice, and maybe just some regular potting mix. Something that I also noticed from this plant is that it likes to trail so i have it in like i said i have it inside my greenhouse and it was like on the corner of the greenhouse and um inside the greenhouse there's like the little you know the like the little tubes the little um i have it inside the green it was actually climbing into the greenhouse so when i was taking it out of the greenhouse it was kind of it was stuck to the corner piece of material from the greenhouse from inside if that makes any sense and i couldn't take it out because it was actually twirled in to the greenhouse so i had to you know be careful and i unwrapped it and i have it over here but as soon as i take it back to the greenhouse it's gonna wrap itself so this hoya loves to climb up on things if you don't have a greenhouse make sure that you put like a little um 
a totem coil, a totem pole, something that the plant can attach itself to and that, that it will grow. Um, I think that once a plant it starts to climb up on things, it starts growing faster than if you just have it hanging out like chilling like, like this. This plant also has three different types of flowers. Um, it could be a completely yellow plant, it could be a purple, or it could also be, I think, pink. Pink, purple, and yellow are the flowers that this plant produces. Unfortunately for me, I haven't had the chance to have this whole flower for me since it's this little, and I think it probably won't grow any peduncles or any blooms until maybe the end of next year. And I will definitely do an update when this Hoya starts growing peduncles. Or if not, I could, you can just follow me on Instagram and I'll, um, where I constantly give updates on my plants and pretty much all of my Hoyas and all of my other trees in general. For pests, um, I really have not had an issue with this plant having any pests. Although it did have a worm and it ate this plant. It, it, it ate the, the, the leaf from this side. So um, well, as soon as I saw my plant had a worm, I didn't see the worm, but um, my mom did. So she t actually killed the worm and the leaf was completely dead. So we snatched the, the leaf and then we killed the worm, or my mom killed the worm. And then we inspected all the rest of our leaves of our plants to make sure they had no worms. And unfortunately, and thankfully there were no more worms and our plants are healthy make sure to investigate your plants especially if you see your plants are being like missing chunks like if it's if it's getting chewed it might have a worm and if you don't take care of that that little worm will finish the plant and it'll go to the next plant and it will kill that plant and so forth and so on it will kill all of your plants it will make a little indentation here and there on all of your plants and then those plants will develop fungus and then the plant will completely die and then the, the, the fungus from that plant will you know go to another plant and then that plant will grow to another plant so it's like a domino effect if you have a pest on a plant make sure that you um, quarantine the plant just like we are quarantining ourselves because of covid and then take care of that particular plant and then don't put it with the rest give it a, a month or two before you put it with the rest and then it'll take you know it'll be completely happy and healthy so this is all i could give you guys for now on hoya han hiai i hope you guys have a good one and i hope this video was helpful for you guys um Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And also, guys, don't forget to drink water and water your plants. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.